What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm going to show you how to reset a MacBook Air to factory settings. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go up here and shut down your computer. Now, once your computer is shut off, you're going to hit the power button, but you are going to hold down the command and R keys here. That will allow the computer to boot up into the Mac OS recovery mode. Now, this actually might take a little while, and you may have to actually log back into your computer. But once you get there, you'll get to the Mac OS utilities, and the first thing you're going to need to do here is to wipe your hard drive. So you're going to go down here to Disk Utility, hit Click Continue. And by default, it will select the image of the operating system, but you want to go up here and select your hard drive, which is usually the first one. And then you can verify that by making sure that the size is right. Go up here to erase, click erase. And then as far as I can tell, all of these defaults are just fine. If you want to name your hard drive, you can. APFS is what I will leave it as, and I will hit erase. And then you might have to log in one more time to verify and then hit go and it will start erasing your hard drive. Now you're going to hit done and you are going to close out the disk utility and you are going to go up here to reinstall Mac OS, hit continue, and then you will start the installation of your new Mac OS system. And then it'll ask you where do you want to install the OS. Just select your hard drive and hit next, and then it will start installing. And as you might be able to see here, depending on the speed of your MacBook, it may take a while to reinstall that. But you just plug it in to power and let her go, and you will have a fresh, new, completely factory reset MacBook Air. So now you can give it away, sell it, do whatever you want. That's how you do it. Peter Von Panda, out.